Hi, and welcome to LB0 Fox India Norwegian Ham Ventures. I'm Morten, LB0 Fox India, and thus is my Kenwood TS440. And one important thing to check when you get an old radio is how much power does it have? Is there anything wrong on it? Can you live with what's wrong? And all that kind of things. So let's do a power check on this radio on uh, all the bands. Uh, the radio is connected to this cross needle meter and then to a dummy load. Uh, and since I don't have a CW key available, I'm going to do this in FM because the radio is rated to 100 watts FM. So just so we can send out a carrier here. First band out is uh, 160 meters. So let's take a look at the meter and uh, we'll see what happens. Key down on 160, both the radio and the meter shows 100 watts. So we're good on 160. Next up, 80 meters. Still on FM. And both radio and meter shows 100 watts. Good on uh, 80 as well. So let's check 40, still on FM. And that is 100 watts almost spot on on both meters. Let's move up to 30 meters. 100 watts almost. 20 meters. A little bit less than 100 watts, about 90-ish watts on uh, 20 meters. 17 meters, about 60 watts, so a little bit less on 17. 15 meters, and there's not much happening on 15 meters. Let's turn the cross needle meter down. Let's check the times 10 rating. Still not a lot to be seen there. Let's move it down to the times one rating. And we got about six watts on 15 meters. So 15 meters is not good on this radio. Let's check 12 meters back to the times 100 scale. 12 meters is about 30, 25, 30 watts. 12 meters is usable on this radio, but not too good. And then let's check 10 meters. 10 meters is about 80 watts. So as you can see, this almost 40 year old radio is not perfect on every band. It's still usable for my use case. And I gotta admit, I don't know enough about these old radios to actually figure out what's wrong. It was bad on all bands, it'd probably be the finals, but since it's not bad on every band, well, I don't really know. Do you? Let me know down in the comments. Um, I am going to open it up pretty soon, though, to change the bulb behind the meter here, just to get some light behind the meter. So there might be some obvious things that I'll see when I open it up, or there might not. And I know a couple of people that knows these kinds of radios, so they might be able to help, though. Um, besides that, for my use as an in-car POTA radio, it'll work. I mainly do 20 for POTA. So uh, for that, it will work. It's not the ideal radio nonetheless, but um, at the price I got it for free, it's still usable. Let me know if you know how to fix it, as I said. And if you got any other comments, do leave them below as well. Do think about clicking that thumbs up button. I'd really appreciate that. There's a little bit more information down below. And if you're a watcher of Cares, the European Ham Radio Show, we're now on a brand new channel from this coming Sunday. So make sure you follow that channel as well. That is youtube.com slash at hamshow.eu. We also get a brand new website, which is hamshow.eu. That's it for now. Until next time, 7-3.